Oh. Hey guys, it's Ryan, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We landed on Tatooine in the last episode, but then we found out we had a stowaway. So I had to go and give her back to her family, which was a big deal. Took longer than I thought it would. So now we are back on Tatooine, where we were before. And I forgot how to get out of my ship. I'm gonna die in here. Okay, I think it's on this side. Yes, yes, I remember now. That's gonna keep happening, by the way. I'm gonna keep getting lost in that ship. Uh, I wish mission didn't suck so much. Hmm, does T3M4 have security as well? I might just bring him along, to be perfectly honest. If not, I'm gonna check real quick and then, because I think he has like computer skills, repair skills, demolitions, and security, because he's like a droid, right? Right? I could be like misremembering. I can't remember. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve, after some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. <sighs> what do I get for my 100 credits? The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is customer service voice. Like he wants to say, you get to keep your fucking ship here? <laughs> Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover expenses. I'm sure the economy on this planet sucks. Fine, I'll pay. I thought you would. Without these fees, I'm pretty sure I can talk him out of it with, like, this port years the Force. I don't have that skill, but if I did, I think I could make him well. not it's like ask for money. But that gives you dark so side we can points. Serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? This visit is none of your business. I'm looking for very specific things. Who should I ask? Not much information. He's not gonna... I'm not gonna tell him what I'm looking for. Looking for older things, antiques, artifacts. I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I doubt you'll learn anything different. Cool, you you're not helpful. You always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell what they know. Uh, gotta go. If you need anything I'm pretty sure this guy does not know a thing. Okay, T3M4. Let's... Okay, you have computer use. You have some demolitions, but I mean, I don't really care about demolitions. You have repair, and you have security. Okay, T3. The only bad thing is I can't use... I can't use cure on him. So that kind of sucks. Hmm. Should I use him or should I not use him? I'm not going to use him. The fact that I can't heal him with the force means I'm going to have to constantly be buying repair kits. And I just don't want to. So I guess mission it'll have to be. She just dies so easily. Hmm. I don't really need her to have awareness. So I guess giving her... Dexterity, I don't care about demolitions. I'd rather her just be better. Wait a minute, what happened? Blaster carbine does energy damage one to eight. Boop. 
I feel like I can get more damage out of having two blaster pistols. You know, you know what I'm saying? You got me? Too bad you can't equip lightsabers. And I'm most definitely not giving her a sword. That just seems like a bad idea. Okay. That'll have to do. Yes. Until I get something better, anyway. Where am I? Map! This way. Hello there, Captain. Let's see. Ah, yes, here it is. It looks like the shipment has been delivered to your ship as requested. Oh, no! What shipment? This is docking bay 32, isn't it? Yes, it is. And that's what I have here on the requisition form. Everything seems to be in order. The Giska are your problem now. Uh, whatever you put on my ship, I want it off. If you want the cargo removed, you'll have to fill out another requisition. I have one right... Wait, I thought I had one. Oh, well. At any rate, the Giska are yours. One of the loaders said the crate split open once you put it in your hole. Some of the critters might have gotten loose. That happens, I'm afraid. We don't accept liability, and we certainly couldn't take the cargo back. Enjoy. That's what happens when you just randomly put your ship somewhere without checking if you should first. Like, it is not that guy's fault. Is my fault as the captain? I will accept responsibility for that. And now, for the rest of the game, because that crate burst open when they put it in my ship, I'm just gonna have these little like frog creatures called Giska just flopping around. And there's nothing I can do about it. Well, there is something I can do about it. There's a poison that they make that can kill them, but I think you get dark side points for it. Who are you? Please, will you help me? I have nothing, nothing left. Uh, what do you need? I'm duck butter. Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My yeah, there's not a lot going on on this planet. Out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. I wouldn't be able to sell it. I'm not a hunter. No, but you looked... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you looked equipped like a hunter. Are you sure you're not going to be getting a license? I mean, you don't look like a farmer, and the only way to be allowed out of Anchorhead is to get a hunting license. Uh, where would I get a license? Circa Corporation sells them out of their office just south of here in the center of Anchorhead. That's where my husband That's good is. information to know, though. I think they charge 200 credits, but they've been known to make exceptions. Please, no one else will help. Um, I mean, I don't want to say that, but let's talk about what to do with this will plate. You buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. Perhaps I will you buy will? it for you. Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know it's trying to find like the fun. nicest option for this lady. I'll pay that in an extra 200. 700 credits. Oh, thank you. It is more than generous of you. I don't know what to say. I just don't. Wow. Sometimes helping people feels pretty good, you know? Thank yeah. You. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you are making a difference. For whatever yeah. it is. May the force be with you. You saved us. Yeah. I should probably find a shop and sell some of my, like, mines or something, because... I'm running out of money by being so nice to everyone. Ooh, hello. I'm just gonna casually steal from you, sir, while your back is turned. <sighs> Let's go get a hunting license, because it's the only way I'm getting out of this town. To find myself a star map. Ooh, what? You can adjust the party behavior? I didn't know about that. You'll be hearing about this, you Zerka puppet. I'm not going to let this drop. You can't just murder a whole village. Don't tell me to take my concerns to your corporate kiosk. I know when I'm not wanted. 
What's going on? Who are you? I'm done talking in this office. They aren't interested in listening to me. I doubt they'll even acknowledge I was here. Typical corporate evasion. That's what happens when they own everything. No accountability. Don't even bother bringing it up. Okay, bye. That was random. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company? If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. Awesome. Uh, I'm looking for a miner named Griff. Oh yeah, he's here. Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Are you certain about that? I'd leave sooner if I knew. Oh, you mean that Twi'lek? Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. We hired that And Twi I didn't even have to give her money. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. Sounds like he Griff. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like we him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the sand people wouldn't have gotten him. Ugh. He was lost in a sand people raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these Of course they do. Uh, so your workers are all expendable? Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. That's why we've started a bounty program to thin the sand people numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't. And of course, we have to go find him because he's Mission's brother. Lose my job. Is there? I don't. I don't want to ask for a reward. Very well. Though I do have work to get back to. I want to ask about hunting as licenses? As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. There's no way to get a license? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. Ooh, was it a sexy Similar task? Hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. You're and invading their planet. Terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Why pay for the gaffy sticks? Why not their Which heads? Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. I mean, I have to. I don't have to do it, but I have to agree to do Excellent. it. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try it's the only way to get out of the attacked. town. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Um, are there any other questions well. that I need to I ask her? So I don't want to come back here. Anything out of the ordinary? I assume yet? that by out of the ordinary, you're referring to the destruction of Terrace. That is all anyone is talking about. I had nothing to do with that, and you can't prove anything. Not offering any comment on those events, we wouldn't wish to anger the participants. No, but anything more local? If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the Swoop Track, one of the few leisure industries on. That's Tatooine. like a whole set of mini games on. on so I don't know if it's on each planet. I think he's out by the city gates. I can't be more specific about what he wanted. Our droid translators had difficulty with the message. Oh yeah, that's another quest. But like on each planet that has a Swoop Track, you can participate in the races. I think you just get credits for it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm so bad at it. The only time you're ever Farewell. like required to do it is on Terrace. Really, Bastila, again? You're so needy. How can I help? You wanted to speak with yes, me? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a... There is no fate, there is only the Force. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Is it true you killed Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. Uh, but isn't that what you're famous for? Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. She's a phony! He turned on his own master, a great big phony! Ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. 
Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. But you would have killed him eventually, right? As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. That's nice, I guess. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. You the brought it up! My confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. She brought it up. Ooh. Okay, guys, that's all we have time for in this episode. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this every weekday, and I'll see you later.